What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the objective for Dan James Shapeshifter. If you're tired of if you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order and hopefully you have a good day. So in today's video, we'll be looking at Dan James as a right back. I, I personally don't know how I feel about this card now. I, I remember the Future Stars version of him with the objective that was tiered. was an incredible card. As a right back, I feel like he's going to be very... Not necessarily not wanted, but most definitely not as as much as you'd actually want from a card like this. If he was a centre mid, a cam, a striker, I know it's very boring and you'll always find something to change. But as a right back, right back, left back, centre backs, they're just not it this year. We've got so many top end ones. This card needed to be in the attacking field to really stand a chance. That being said, it's a nice card. It's 92 for just games played. He's a high, high work rate. He's got a very nice upgrade on his stats. As we've not really seen a heavy amount from Dan James this year, which is natural. Sometimes you have up and down careers. He's had a 77 rated rare gold, and that is it this year. We have got solid player as his traits, and then stat-wise... He's looking pretty solid all round. He's had a nice upgrade. Obviously, he's had a 44 increase on his defending and 24 on the physicality. Not much not much really gone onto the pace because he was already pretty quick from the get-go with 95 pace on his base. And I think most definitely worth probably just grinding out. I don't think there's a token in this one. We also, as a little cheat one, we have a player pick or player pack for a shapeshifter. If you win five of the shapeshifters cup, so that will kind of keep you going on that one. But in terms of what you got to do then, we've got to go back into shifting shape. Before we go into all of that, let's have a look and see what you've actually got. I always do this. I always go into SBCs. What have we got to actually uh, put into this friendlies match? Because I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. We did uh, the other card and now we're, we're back at square one. So it is shifting shape, one lone player, five uh, leagues and three countries. So again... Pretty much most people's main team, to be honest. I can imagine a lot of people are probably rocking at least three to four uh, leagues. So just adding one extra with all the icons should be pretty simple, really. So in terms of what we've got to do for Dan James, let's see if there's any big requirements for Prem on it. So we have got score five finesses using midfielders. Pretty standard. Uh, assist five goals using crosses with at least three Premier League players in your starting lineup. Okay, that's a standard. Then win six, as again, pretty easy. And a final one, score in four separate matches using a player with minimum 90 pace. You can go use Dan James's gold card if you really want. But that should be pretty simple. So the only thing really we've got required in this one is the free Premier League. Predominantly... If you're going to score five finesses, that can be anybody with at least three Premier League. So I don't think assists for a five crosses using uh, using crosses with at least three Premier League players in your starting lineup. So it actually, I don't think it matters if you've got a Premier League the one assisting. But I would do that just in case because I can imagine that's worded poorly. Because to me, all you've got to assist is a cross. As long as you've got them free players in, that is what I would personally think. But again, I would probably go with a Prem just in case. You give it a try. If not, give it a try with uh, any other player and see. In terms of the 90 pace, if you've done any of the SBCs recently, all of them are 90 plus pace, which is absolutely standard. That wouldn't mean if he's got, say, 89 pace, but with a, sh uh, with a Hunter, he has got 99. It would be they have to have it on their base. So... What do we want to go with? So you'd score the five finesses. That can be done in one game or spread over the six. Um, starting lineup. That can be done straight after the six can. And then score separate. So realistically, score five finesse. So you want to be looking at the score using the 90 pace. As well as then assisting the cross. As well as scoring five with a midfielder. So it could be interesting. Because obviously what you're going to find is a lot of people will quit. So you want to try and find a 90 pace midfielder. So there's two options you can go with here. You can either go with your striker and whack him as a centre mid to make him a midfielder and put him up front. That again would work. I think Bale as a right mid would technically work purely for the fact that he is a midfielder. A right wing and a right forward are classed as forwards. And obviously Bale as a right mid is classed as a midfielder. If you are stuck with what's uh, kind of what, 
this is the perfect thing. This tells you basically what is a midfielder and what is a forward according to Coden. So obviously it's center forward striker, left wing, left forward, right forward, right wing. So you're looking at this. This is what you need. I believe you can move players. So, for instance, if you had uh, Cantona as a striker at the minute, you could bring him down to a Cam CM, put him in that position in game. So you can't put him as a centre mid and whack him in a striking position. He'd have to go here. So like that, but obviously as a centre mid, that should work. But just in case it's not, let's have a look if we have any midfielders. So Phil Foden, uh, he is a, a genuine midfielder, 92 pace. You've got Robbo if you really wanted to. That would that would work. Then if we went any others, just, just check the club to see what other midfielders have the 90 pace. Uh, you've got Modric does, Spinozola does, obviously, Grealish, Brozovic. Yeah, to be fair, you've got quite a lot that have the 90 pace that would actually really work. Morientes, Isco, Canales, not quite Verratti or Kessie. Uh, Emerson is another one if you've got him done an objective. So there is actually quite a lot of options. What you want to do with that is by putting him in midfield to start with and just change your custom tactics for him to go up front. It will make your job a hell of a lot easier. I would definitely be looking at, um, I've got the free, well, I've got more than free Premier League in there. So that's absolutely fine with the main team. But obviously, I will have to add an extra league or something. I would personally go with the Prem up front just in case that objective is bugged. And then obviously have as many leagues as I can at the bottom. Maybe going with an icon centre back if you've got one, a different keeper that links with the icon. And then obviously a right back that's different. That's already three different leagues, as well as then having potentially your Mbappe or anyone from Ligue 1, and then your Prem. That is five leagues, jobs are good. Un. So, realistically, I would be looking, you need to get the pace one done anyway, so I would definitely be going for the midfielder with, obviously, the 90-plus pace, so you can tick off both of them. That only needs to be done for four games, and you need the five finesses. Pretty standard, really. You can just go and do that, and you normally find people leave after one, and you've easily done that. Then I would possibly be looking at the five assists. I know you're probably going to get this done in less than six, uh, kind of the, these ones and then maybe the acrosses come because people don't necessarily leave or uh, people do technically leave a lot of the time you might not get a few goals every time but if you do get somebody you've gone one up to and they don't want to leave carry on and get these goals done as soon as you've got the midfielder goal with the 90 pace absolutely start whipping balls in you can get your midfielder to score finesses again if you want but i would definitely focus on the crosses first and then work your way around everything else because they will be the harder one out of all of them to get done so i would probably go get the crosses with obviously a pace uh, player then obviously uh, go with uh, the midfielders and you should win six as of them i think it's worth doing 92 pair 92 uh, rated shapeshifter from the prem you can't argue you may not go in people's teams but i can imagine at some point he may be fodder for any sort of eye compacts or players that do come out so let me know down below if you are going to be completing dan james make sure you do like and subscribe on this and i'll see you all later for all of the reviews take care and peace